Mystical Beings, Unveiling the Magic of Language Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, mystical beings. These words often appear in literature, movies, and various forms of storytelling. Let's explore what they mean and how you can use them in your own English conversations. First, let's break down the word mystical. It comes from the word mystic, which refers to something that is spiritual, mysterious, or beyond human understanding. When we say something is mystical, we mean it has a hidden or spiritual significance that goes beyond the ordinary. Now, let's look at the word being. In the simplest terms, a being is any creature or entity that exists. It can refer to humans, animals, and even fictional or imagined creatures. When combined, the phrase, mystical beings, refers to creatures or entities that possess magical or supernatural qualities. These are often characters you might find in myths, legends, or fantasy stories. Examples include dragons, fairies, and unicorns. Mystical beings can be used in various contexts. In literature, they often symbolize deep philosophical concepts or universal truths. In everyday conversation, you might use this phrase when talking about stories, movies, or even in metaphors to describe something extraordinary. It's important to note the cultural significance of mystical beings. Different cultures have their own unique mythical creatures, each with its own backstory and symbolism. This reflects the rich diversity of human imagination and belief systems. I hope this exploration of mystical beings has been enlightening. Remember, language is not just about words, but the worlds they can create. Until our next video, keep learning and stay curious about the magic of language.